Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abby and I'm the owner of a couple tumblers. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a distressed wood grain tumbler. And I'm going to show you guys how I put my water slides on. So before we get started, give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and let's get to it. I'm going to start off with using this sponge brush. I got this sponge brush from Walmart and they come in a pack of four and sometimes 20. You can go ahead and find this at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, and even Amazon. I'm also going to be using the color Slate by Tim Holtz. This is an alcohol ink. I'm going to apply the alcohol ink with a very thin line and I'm going to use my sponge brush starting from the top and brushing it all the way to the bottom. Here I'm also checking to see if this is gray because it kind of looks a little black, but I assure you it is gray. So I'm just going to keep applying the thin lines and use my sponge brush to help spread the alcohol inks on the tumbler. I'm always going to be starting from the top to the bottom and I will never go from the bottom to the top. If you have any spots that are not covered, you can go ahead and put the alcohol ink on and that is perfectly okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover this whole tumbler. Now that the whole tumbler is done, I'm going to be working on the bottom. There's no really rhyme or reason as to how you want your bottom to be done because in this distressed wood grain, it's going to be covered up somewhat completely anyways with spray paint. So you just want the bottom of your tumbler to be covered with alcohol ink. After I achieved the look that I wanted with the wood grain, I did put a thin layer of epoxy and then I spray painted my tumbler leaving some spots to know where I want to clean up the spots that I want. To clean up some spots and make it look a little bit more distressed, I'm going to be using this acetone. It is just a regular nail polish that I bought from Walmart and take a paper towel and soak the paper towel with the acetone. I'm going to grab the tumbler that has the spray paint on it and find the spots that don't have much spray paint so that's where I know where I need to clean it up. I just go ahead and rub 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 and try to clean up the spots as best as I can. After I cleaned up the spots the best I can, I'm going to be using 91% rubbing alcohol and go over the spots that have a little bit of paint left over and this is going to take the rest of the paint off. When you feel like you've gotten your distress part good enough to where you want it to be, go ahead and let this dry and then after it dries, go put a layer of epoxy on and then after that dries, we're going to go put our water slide on. Time for the water slide. Here you can see I've already printed out my image and cut it to size. If you want a video on how I print out my water slides, make sure to leave a comment down below and I can get to that. I use a laser printer to print out my water slide as it eliminates one extra step I have to do. I also use warm water to soak my water slide. I feel like warm water works best since it doesn't take too long for the decal to lift from the backing. I'm also just swishing it around in the water to make sure that it is ready to go onto the tumbler. So now that it looks like the water slide is ready, I wet the area on the tumbler where I'll be applying the water slide. I take the entire water slide out of the water and place it on the tumbler. Once I get it in the place I want, I slide a bit of the water slide off the backing and hold that piece down on the tumbler and slide the backing off, leaving just the water slide. Now I'm going to take a silicone spatula and push out any of the bubbles under the water slide to ensure that the water slide is smooth and adhere to the tumbler. Once all the bubbles are out, I will take a paper towel to get rid of the excess water. Let your water slides dry for about 30 minutes and you're ready to seal with epoxy. And that is it you guys, a distressed wood grain tumbler. I definitely love this style since it gives me that rustic farmhouse look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll try to upload weekly. But before you go, make sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload a video, and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next. Bye guys!